Welcome to the last part of our four-part series on cab writers uh, SketchUp to Layout and creating professional shop drawings from your cab writer design. I know in part three I said that was going to be the last video, but uh, there's a couple more things that I wanted to show you. In particular, I want to show you what happens when you make a change to your cab writer model and how that propagates over into the layout application. So let's say we wanted to make cabinet C17 a little narrower. Um, so I would go back to my SketchUp model and we're going to just select this cabinet, right click, cab writer, edit story stick. And we see this uh, style is highlighted right now and I don't want to do anything with that one so I'm going to say next. I'm going to shift this style to the left four inches. So that just made that cabinet a bit narrower. I'm going to save the file, file, save. And if I go back to layout and we go to file document setup, we should see that we have an out of date file. Let me save that again. And go back over here. Document setup. There we go. So we have an old version of the file, it says. So I'm going to update it and let's see what happens. It's thinking. All right. So we're updated. And if we zoom in here, we can see what has happened to us. It's moved this cabinet in, but we still have our hatches that we put in over the old cabinet. But we have an even bigger problem. If we go back to SketchUp for a sec and we look at our plan view for the uppers here, what we have is the old mask that we created that we talked about in the previous videos um, is still reflective of the old width of the cabinet. So we need to change that. We need to redo this mask so that when we uh, look at our um, plan view in layout, you'll have the correct mask on top of it. You can see we can we can see into this cabinet here because we don't have the mask over this part. It's over this part. So the easiest way to do this is if we go back and look here, we've got a mask that says Z plan view lowers. That's what's showing right now. If I turn it off, it goes away. Turn it back on, um, it's still there. So what we're going to do is delete this layer. If I just highlight it and click on the, the minus sign, sometimes it'll default to move contents to current layer. We don't want to do that. We need to delete the contents. Otherwise, this mask will get thrown on another layer. Um, so we're going to say delete contents and hit delete. Now you can see the mask is gone and the layer is gone. So what we need to do is create the mask again. And we're not going to delete this scene. We're just going to regenerate this layer. And if we do it with the same name as it had before, then it'll be relinked to this scene and a scene will never know the difference. So I'm going to just go to one of my perspective views here. And if I, oops, if we go to view uh, section planes, we get all of our section planes back that are in the drawing. And so I'm going to zoom around and try to find the one that I'm interested in. And the one I'm interested in is the one that I created my plan view uppers. Sometimes you got to sort through and figure out um, which one it might be. You can just double click on it and you can see the section that comes out of that. Um, so that'll be how you know which one to pick. You can see if I was picking one of these vertical ones, it's a lot more crowded there. And I would have to play around a little bit more. So once I have that, I just go back to draw cab writer create section from section plane and redo this. And I'm going to just say plan view 
uppers. The same exact spelling and way I did it the first time. And hit OK. And it created a new uh, scene for me, but I'm going to delete that scene. I don't need the scene. Um, do you want to delete it? Yes, I do. Uh, because I have my old plan view uppers here. And when I look at that now, it's correct. Except the mask is not on. So I'm going to turn the mask on and update this scene. So now I have a mask that is correct and a scene. It's the same scene I had before. And that's important because I'm going to save this, file save. When we go back over here, the reason that's important is because this page is linked to uh, the plan view upper scene. And I don't want to change that because it'll really mess up a lot of different things. So now I can go and go to my document setup. See that that's old. Update it. It's thinking. All right. So you can see that everything moved in properly. Uh, all this red means is, if I click on one of these, it says reconnect to model. So sometimes when the scene gets updated, um, all of the dimensions need to be reconnected to the model. So all I'm going to do is do a edit, uh, select all, and just right click on one of these and say reconnect to model and they all get reconnected to the model. So all is good again. Now, please note that this works well on uh, SketchUp 2017. Uh, some of the earlier versions, um, you might get things that mess up even more, things that get unlinked and move around on you. Um, but they fixed that in 2017. There's a better linkage, uh, so it knows um, how to keep things in place better. 2017 so might be worth if you're going to do this a lot and you're having problems with that it might be worth upgrading to 2017. All right so now we we have our model so the only thing we really have to do is we have to move some things to get them back in the right spot. Um, in particular we need to move um, our hatches. So if I go back down here Remember, all these hatches are just rectangles, so I can move them. Just grab them and move them where they belong. So here's one that's going to move. Uh, oops. When you do it, you got to make sure you get that move command. And that one goes there. Uh, this guy doesn't move. It's going to get smaller. there. This guy also has to get smaller. This one simply moves. And since that was behind this one originally, I can more precisely move it if I get it in here. Maybe not. Sometimes you get to play around with this a little bit. There we go. Uh, this guy We'll move up uh, here. I've got this one in the wrong spot here. This one's got to move up. Oh. So it moves up here. And this guy moves over here a little bit. And 
this corner one. It's there. So now we fix fix that end up, and we're going to have some dimensions that we have to fix. These guys are okay. We might just have to move them up a little bit. This one I can move up, but this one is now uh, incorrect. So I'm going to move that to match up here. This one is also incorrect, so I can move it. So I can just grab and move those. And you just move things around until you've got um, exactly what you need. And this one, uh, there we go. Get that out of the way. So once you've done that, um, you just save this file. And you're good to go. So, just to review, when you make the change in SketchUp um, and update the model in Layout, um, you'll have to reconnect the dimensions. So that one's fairly straightforward. And if you have a mask on there, you're going to have to go back to the SketchUp program, delete the Z-whatever your um, scene name is, remembering to delete the contents of that layer. Then you will um, go back to your um, view section planes, find that section plane, double click on it, go back to Cab Writer, and draw create section from section plane, remembering to name it exactly the same as it was before. When it creates a new scene, you'll delete that scene and then connect this layer back to this scene by turning it on and up right clicking on the scene and updating it. After that, it's back to layout, update your file, and then move around any hatches and dimensions that you might need. Simple as that. Thank you.